All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 First Fruit, Brother Kosh Kuala from the GMS Atlanta Church here, uh, here in Georgia. Um, coming back at you with another swift lesson. This one's going to be really swift. Uh, just talking about how everything's going. You know, according to plan, you know, according to the scripts. Of course, I'm gonna bring out the classic uh, Revelation 13 and 16 because that's what I really want to harp on. Um, but I'm gonna read the title to this article right here into another one I found. It says the coronavirus economy is exposing how easy it is to fall from the middle class into po poverty. Uh, in this one, it says um, the middle class, it's like it, the middle class is not ready for the looming recession. Now, the classes that are taking a hit, like, very, very hard, because you got your upper, middle, lower class, um, the middle class is taking a hit. Those are your small businesses, mom and pop, you know, stores, things of that nature uh, that get shut down, your little franchise businesses that get shut down. Um, these are your middle class, uh, uh, everyday type people, Okay. These are the people who are taking the biggest hit, which is all according to the plan, according to Revelation, the 13th chapter. All right. So I'm going to read a little bit of this. It says, uh, Louis Laura apologized for crying as she told her story. The 50 year old, 54 year old single mom had just listed her home in Florida Panhandle as for sale by owner. The latest sign that the middle class life is slipping away aim of the nation's worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. Exactly. Um, right now, America is in a depression, straight up. Uh, this has been the worst uh, job loss since the Great Depression. Um, I think it's been even worse. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Uh, but it's been even worse. Uh, every week, an average of uh, three to six million people lose their jobs. Um, uh, I've seen articles where it'd be 22 million people file for uh, uh, unemployment. And that's not including the ones who have not filed for unemployment yet. Uh, there's millions and millions each week losing jobs, losing money, losing ownership, losing their businesses, losing their homes. All right. And the ones who are mainly losing are the working middle class. Okay. The working middle class. You look at a body. Okay. Just like, just a body. You have a head, shoulders, arms, torso, hips, legs, feet, okay? If you wanted to, you know, dissect that into three parts, you got the upper, which is the head, you got the middle, which is the torso, you got the lower, which are the legs, okay? What supports all of that? A lot of people say the legs and the feet, but really, it's the torso, it's the middle section. <clears throat> it's the abs and it's your lower back. Believe it or not, your lower back is always flexed. It's always flexing because it, even when you sleep, it's never relaxed. Okay? Even when you sleep. So it's never relaxed because that's something that keeps you up. Okay? That keeps you stable. Okay? Even, even when you're sleeping and tossing and turning, may you sleep on your side it still supports you to sleep on your side. Your lower back, look it up. It's always staying flexed. It's always, just like your heart is always staying pumping until you pass on. It's the same thing with your lower back muscle, okay? With your abs, your abdominals, right? You can do any workout if you have a strong core. You can do any workout. You can jog anywhere. You can run anywhere. You can lift things. If you have a strong core, you can do that. Usually another um, way to describe a core is a foundation. If you have a strong foundation, well, your core and your back is a foundation of your body, which is the middle. So for America, the middle class is the backbone of America. And America is ripping that out by going, you know, well, Esau is ripping that out by taking away and quarantine people, shutting businesses down. He's doing it on purpose. 
he'll shut small businesses down uh, and things of that nature to make everybody funnel into one place. Hence comes the universal income, universal, you know, buying and selling, all of that. You see what I'm saying? Which ultimately goes down to a universal chipping. Okay. Revelation 13 and 16, it says he causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in the right hand or in their foreheads. Reason I want to bring this out while reading about, you know, this coronavirus taking out the middle class. Yeah, I understand it's, this is specifically about the chip, but let's talk about the middle, you know, the upper, middle and lower class. When you read this, it says small and great, rich and poor. It's tit for tat. It's uh, yin and yang. It's uh, yay and nay. Straight up. The Lord said, let your yay be yay and your nay be nay. So let it be rich and let it be poor. I don't need no middle class. I don't need no gray area. The, the, the Lord is taking out the middle class. Simple. So what? Revelation 13 and 16 can come to pass. Because when I read this, it doesn't say rich middle class it doesn't say upper class middle class lower class it just says rich and poor you either gonna be rich or you ain't gonna have shit in these times to come and that's real shit and it's gonna be of course way more poverty than there is gonna be rich okay matter of fact let's see what the word rich is here on uh edam online i mean salaki on uh the blue letter Rich uh, plus sales, uh, it means wealthy, abounding in material resources. Exactly. It doesn't say anything about a physical money or anything. In that day, rich could be because you have toilet paper. Rich because, because you have hand sanitizer and you have wipes. You see what I'm saying? It says abounding, abundantly supplied. You see that? Abundantly supplied. You have supplied with water. You have supplied with meats and, and vegetables. You you got into husbandry during your, your quarantine and learned how to plant. You're rich in materials. You're abundantly supplied. You see? That's what the rich are. Doesn't mean, don't get this uh, script misconstrued when it says rich and poor. It doesn't mean I'm sitting on my high horse and a luscious no, it could, everybody's going to be living shitty probably, but it just means I got more supplies than the poor people. Therefore, I have a certain level of power. But in order to get this, I need to chip. You see what I'm saying? And then let's look up the word po the poor real quick. Oops, I like you. The word poor, uh, uh, potkos, if I'm saying that right, I might say that wrong. Potkos, I don't know. Mm. Tochas. Tochas. I said that totally wrong. Tochas. And it means uh, reduce to beggary. You see that? Begging, asking alms. There's going to be people out there begging, okay? Begging. And there's going to be a lot. And the ones who are going to be begging are going to be more willing to take the chip than the ones who are rich. In real talk, the ones who are rich probably already will got the chip, you know? But even so, there's going to be ones who are well supplied. All right. Supplies run out, don't they? OK, supplies run out into into a uh, re up. You're probably going to need the chip. You're probably going to need the chip to restock. Not probably you will need the chip. You see that it says helpless, powerless to accomplish an end, poor, needy, lacking in anything. You see that? OK, so Esau is taking out the middle class. All right. It says small and great. Rich and poor, free and bond. It's one or the other. It's one or the other. And Esau is taking this middle class out. I'm going to read this paragraph right here. It says, the conversation around wealth has mainly focused on how much total wealth the top has uh, relative to everyone else in the implications for uh, fairness in political economy. You see that? Fairness. And what's fair? Rich and poor. You're either the rich or you're the poor. That's just straight up. Okay? You either got supplies or you don't. Okay? And that's what they're trying to bring it to. That's why they're Xing out the middle class. The middle working man, middle working woman in this society. Exit out. Get rid of it. Cut their small businesses. 
All right. There's no small little mom and pop stores where you can get little, you know, petty little supplies. It's done for. You have to go to a big ass Walmart, which is going to turn into a FEMA concentration camp and ultimately get the chip. A big ass Target. OK, a big ass Home Depot, because when uh, I think back in like February or something like that, something like that, February, or March, I can't remember. I think it was like mid-March. Uh, President Trump, he had a press conference where he was giving the status of the world in of what uh end of America and he had all the top um stores CEOs with him he had Target with him he had Walmart with him he had I think he had Home Depot and stuff with him they were all there with him in the press conference and he let each and every single one of them talk that's not a mom and pop shop CEO. That's not no Walgreens CEO. Nothing like that. They're going to get rid of all those things and make it go to one and funnel all the people to one place to get all their materials. But they're going to have to get scammed for the chip or either take the chip. You see, that's what's going on right now. It says, but another role for wealth to create cushion against income income shocks now needs to take center stage. The COVID-19 crisis will produce a virtual unprecedented unprecedented shock and the middle class does not have much of a cushion. Exactly, because they're aiming to take the middle class out because Revelation 13 and 16 got to come to pass. It's either rich or poor. Ain't no middle. Ain't no in-between. It's small and great. It ain't no medium. <laughs> Tall me, you know, normal average height and short. No, it's you either tall or short, or in this case, you either small or great. And this doesn't mean like in stature, small, great, meaning in like same thing as the rich and poor. Are you supplied or did that's what we're coming into? You see, so I just wanted to bring that lesson out just to show you that things are coming to pass. Esau, round of applause. Because you're doing your diabolical job, but it came from the idea came from your how about shimmy outside because it's already been written. This has already been written and you're playing it out. Congrats. You know, you're doing your job. Okay? Both rich and poor. Ain't no middle class. That's why it's taking it out. You know? I'm gonna put these uh links in the description below so y'all can read through them. Lord willing, this was edifying. I want to give all glory, honor, and praises to Yahweh by Shimmy Hawashai. By Shem or Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone to rule and teach well. Peace, love, salutation to the elect 144 first fruits. Your brother Kachakwala, until next time, I want to say Shalom.